Every expectant mom wants to know the secrets to an easier pregnancy. Megan Murphy is fitness director of Self Magazine. This is the June issue where she and I are featured together. And we talk about, inside uh, this article here, how important it is to stay active during your pregnancy. Megan is here this morning to share all of that with all of you. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. Third trimester, how do you feel? Uh, large and in charge, not going to lie. <laughs> I know. Feeling a little swollen, sausage fingers. But, and it, it's, it's harder because I tried to be really good because of everything we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Really good about exercising, but in the third trimester, it does get tougher. Things change. Things yeah. absolutely change, and you do have to listen to your body. Yeah, but it is important to maintain a, as healthy a weight as you can during pregnancy. You can. You're going to gain 25 to 35 pounds if you started out at a healthy weight, but studies show that if you do just 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, even just going for a walk, that you're 8 percent less likely to gain excess weight, more okay. than that 35 pounds. The great part is, too, you're going to have a shorter labor. Oh. 12 to 16 minutes. I hadn't heard that one. Well, it just takes 12 to 16 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, and those women had 30 minute shorter labors. 30 minutes less of pain. I am all uh, signed up for that. I'm like, I'll me? do 25 minutes of cardio if that's what it takes. Huh. And you're less likely to have those post baby blues. Women who exercise during pregnancy, it's a mood lifter. 34 percent less likely to have postpartum depression. And how about bouncing back to your pre-pregnancy weight, which is something that I'm starting to think about. Oh, gosh, Can me too. exercise help with me that? Me too. I want all the weight off. Yes, if you exercise during pregnancy, you bounce back faster because, A, you're able to get back into the exercise routine more quickly after pregnancy, and your body's just a little more resilient. You still have some muscle tone, and your metabolism is, is still cooking. So it's a great thing. Exercise is magic, it especially is. for pregnant, pregnant women. It is. As we get later and later into the pregnancy, we need some other magic tricks, though, oh my to God. relieve certain things. <laughs> Like you talked about swollen feet. Yes. What can you do about swollen feet? Oh my feet? gosh, my achy feet. Well, I've got some great products from Body, uh, Body Shop which have peppermint in them. It's a soothing soak. I love this because it's a spray. I can barely see my feet, let alone bend over and reach them. But this is a cooling <laughs> spray. You can just shoot it on. Oh, um, and then easy. just a leg gel, which is soothing. I have a lot of leg cramps, which is one of the things that keeps me up at night. Mm -hmm. Beside going to the bathroom 17 <sighs> times. You're preaching <laughs> to the choir, sister. <laughs> and that's why I also love this body pillow. It looks I like know, a baby. I saw this. He goes, Giant. What, is, like, that what thing? is it? Every pregnant woman needs oh, to know God. what this is. I love it more than my husband right now, and Me I too. love my husband. But it's called the Snoogle from, um, and you can get it at Destination Maternity for like 50 bucks. And it basically hugs you while you sleep, and it keeps you in that sideline position because you know during you pregnancy, have to sleep on your side. you have to sleep on the side to get maximum blood flow to the baby. And I'm a back sleeper normally. Mm -hmm. So for me, me this, this keeps me in position and helps me get. An okay night's sleep. I'm not going to say I'm, you know, sleeping like a baby. But, but at least you're sleeping some. But I'm sleeping which some. Which is an accomplishment. Exactly. A lot of people don't believe me, but it's, I promise you it's a real thing, and Megan will tell you. Mommy brain, oh pregnesia, you're just yeah. not as sharp. You forget things, even if you heard them like two seconds before. Yes. Is there anything you can do about that? Yeah, I hope my boss isn't watching, but yes, I'm a little foggy these days. <laughs> and you can do I some can't hide it. The viewers <laughs> yeah. see me every morning. There's things you can do with diet. I mean, you need about 450 extra calories during your third trimester, but you want to make sure those are good, smart calories. So 65% of them should come from healthy carbs. So this Whole will help grains. your mind stay sharp? This actually, a good diet and good hydration and exercise all keeps you focused and sharp. Mm. So go for good grains, not those flash and burn white carbs, but you know, whole grain breads, whole grain pastas, brown rice. You also need more protein. So you want to go for lean proteins. You need about 71 grams. So the lean meats, the beans, you know, grilled chicken, those kind of things are also going to give you good amino, amino acids, which will keep you sharp and focused. And then finally, those omega 3s. I love walnuts that salmon's not smelling so good to us this morning. Mm. But the you know, <laughs> walnuts, sardines, things with omega 3s are good for you and for your baby. And your brain. <laughs> yeah. Megan, thank you so much. Thank you, Good Maggie. luck. You have what, you like too. three or four weeks? Yeah, we're cooking along. Excellent. <laughs> good luck and thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.